Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, this is my no grit bin. Have you ever wondered if worms actually need grit and what would happen if you didn't provide them with eggshell or sand or azomite or something? So this experiment has been going on for three whole years and every year I have been refining the experiment and trying to make it more valid to see if in fact our worms need grit. So what this is, is this is the 2023 no grit bin. This was started with 100 red wiggler cocoons in October. And last time we were in here, we fed them a little bit of onion and a little bit of pepper. We had noticed that the worms had grown up to be adult worms within that couple of months and that they were ready for feeding. Now it is about 61 degrees in the basement here, so these guys are probably a little bit slow, but as you can see, um, they are fully adult worms. So if you wondered how long does it take my worm to get to be a grown up, uh, these guys were hatched um, on or after October 17th. It is now January 7th. So these guys are full grown and oops. If you look here, you will see the clitellum near my thumb here and that means that they are capable of breeding. So they are completely capable of breeding in just a couple of months. Now I can see a cocoon here that does not look like one of the original cocoons that I put in there because it's rather yellow. Uh, over time they start out kind of a lemon yellow and as they age and get closer to hatching they become a little bit more brown. So this must actually be the second generation in here or the first generation born in here. So the, any of the cocoons that I had put in here originally should already be kind of that brown color. Now we did find some of the onion skins, which we knew was going to be a slow food, but with only a handful of worms in here, I didn't really think we were going to need very much in the way of food. I am starting to see castings already. You can see on my hands here. And this is just uh, my bedding that I use that is made out of shredded cardboard and paper and some coconut coir. So I am still only seeing a couple handfuls of worms here, um, which is to be expected. Cocoons can take anywhere from two weeks to six months to hatch, depending upon um, whether or not they are in their ideal conditions. And I imagine at 60 degrees Fahrenheit, this is really not <laughs> ideal, but it is not too cold for red wigglers. Red wigglers, um, are good down to almost freezing temperatures, but it is going to take some time to build up the population in here to what it looks like to be a normal one of my worm bins. Last year when I started this experiment, I started with a pound of worms and uh, people said, well, what if those worms had grit in their tummies already? Maybe this isn't that great of an experiment because maybe they reused the grit. So this year we're making sure nobody's reusing grit and we started out with cocoons. And so these worms that we have in here have never had any grit whatsoever. Now it looks like they've eaten everything with the exception of those onion peels. So I am going to keep feeding down the middle here so that the worms don't have to go very far to find some food. So let me grab them some food. Now that they're getting to be bigger worms, I think they can go on to eating a little bit more, so I'm gonna give them a chunk of pumpkin. And this has been frozen, so it should be relatively fast food, so if there's little wisps in here, they shouldn't have any problems eating it with or without grit. So they should be totally fine. Put your comments below. What do you think of this experiment? Um, I know some people have said they didn't even know grit was a thing when they first started. And uh, what do you think is going to be the overall result of this? Will they be fine starting from cocoons or are they going to have trouble? Obviously they're still breeding, so not too much trouble. So put your comments below. If you like this content, please give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click, please click that subscribe button. And if you wanna know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and everybody have a good day.